Joshua chapter 19. And the second lot came forth to Simeon, even for the tribe of the children of Simeon according to their families, and their inheritance was within the inheritance of the children of Judah. And they had in their inheritance Beersheba, and Sheba, and Moladah, and Hazarshul, and Bala, and Azam, and Eltalad, and Bethul, and Horma, and Ziklag, and Beth Markaboth, and Hazar Susa, and Beth Labauth, and Sharuhan, thirteen cities and their villages. Ain, Remen, and Ether, and Ashan, four cities and their villages. And all the villages that were round about these cities to Baloth Beer, Ramad of the south. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Simeon according to their families. Out of the portion of the children of Judah was the inheritance of the children of Simeon, for the part of the children of Judah was too much for them, therefore the children of Simeon had their inheritance within the inheritance of them. And the third lot came up for the children of Zebulun according to their families, and the border of their inheritance was unto Sarid. And their border went up toward the sea, and Marlah, and reached to Dabasheth, and reached to the river that is before Jachnium. And turn from Sarid eastward toward the sunrising unto the border of Chisloth Tabor, and then goeth out to Dabaroth, and goeth up to Euphia. And from thence passeth on along on the east to Gittahefer, to Itakazan, and goeth out to Remen Mathar to Nea. And the border compasseth it on the north side to Hanathon, and the outgoings thereof are in the valley of Jephthahel. And Kadath, and Nahalal, and Shimron, and Idala, and Bethlehem, twelve cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Zebulun according to their families, these cities with their villages. And the fourth lot came out to Issachar, for the children of Issachar according to their families. And their border was toward Jezreel, and Chesaloth, and Shunem, and Haphraim, and Shion, and Anaharath, and Rabbath, and Kishion, and Ebetz, and Remeth, and Enganim, and Enhada, and Beth Paz, and the coast reacheth to Tabor, and Shaijma, and Beth Shemesh, and the outgoings of their border were at Jordan, sixteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Issachar according to their families, the cities and their villages. And the fifth lot came out for the tribe of the children of Asher according to their families. And their border was Helkoth, and Hali, and Bedan, and Akshoth, and Alamelech, and Ahmad, and Mishael, and reacheth to Carmel westward, and to Shire Libnath. And turneth toward the sunrising to Bethdagon, and reacheth to Zebulun, and to the valley of Jiphthahel toward the north side of Bethink, and Nail, and goeth out to Kabul on the left hand. And Hebron, and Rehob, and Haman, and Cana, even unto great Zidon. And then the coast turneth to Ramah, and to the strong city Tyre, and the coast turneth to Hosa, and the outgoings thereof are at the sea from the coast to Oxib. Uma also, and Aphek, and Rehob, twenty and two cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Asher according to their families, these cities with their villages. The sixth lot came out to the children of Naphtali, even for the children of Naphtali according to their families. And their coast was from Heleph, from Alon to Zananim, and Adami, Nekeb, and Jabneel, unto Lakem, and the outgoings thereof were at Jordan. And then the coast turneth westward to Isnoth Tabor, and goeth out from thence to Hukkak, and reacheth to Zebulun on the south side, and reacheth to Asher on the west side, and to Judah upon Jordan toward the sunrising. And the fenced cities are Zidim, Zer, and Hamat, Rakath, and Kinnereth, and Adama, and Ramah, and Hazor, and Kadesh, and Adre, and Anhazer, and Iron, and Magdalil, Horm, and Bethanath, and Bethshemesh, nineteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Naphtali according to their families, the cities and their villages. And the seventh lot came out for the tribe of the children of Dan according to their families. And the coast of their inheritance was Zorah, and Eshtol, and Irshemesh, and Shalabin, and Ajalon, and Jethla, and Elon, and Thimnatha, and Ekron, and Elteke, and Gibbethon, and Baalath, and Jehud, and Benebarak, and Gathrimon, and Meharkon, and Rakon, with the border before Japho. And the coast of the children of Dan went out too little for them, therefore the children of Dan went up to fight against Lashem, and took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and possessed it, and dwelt therein, and called Lashem, Dan, after the name of Dan their father. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Dan according to their families, these cities with their villages. 
when they had made an end of dividing the land for inheritance by their coasts, the children of Israel gave an inheritance to Joshua the son of Nun among them. According to the word of the Lord they gave him the city which he asked, even Timnath Sirah and Mount Ephraim, and he built the city, and dwelt therein. These are the inheritances, which Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, divided for an inheritance by Lot in Shiloh before the Lord, at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. So they made an end of dividing the country. Joshua chapter 20. The Lord also spake unto Joshua, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Appoint out for you cities of refuge, whereof I spake unto you by the hand of Moses, that the slayer that killeth any person unawares and unwittingly may flee thither, and they shall be your refuge from the avenger of blood. And when he that doth flee unto one of those cities shall stand at the entering of the gate of the city, and shall declare his cause in the ears of the elders of that city, they shall take him into the city unto them, and give him a place, that he may dwell among them. And if the avenger of blood pursue after him, then they shall not deliver the slayer up into his hand, because he smote his neighbor unwittingly, and hated him not before time. And he shall dwell in that city, until he stand before the congregation for judgment, and until the death of the high priest that shall be in those days, then shall the slayer return, and come unto his own city, and unto his own house, unto the city from whence he fled. And they appointed Kadesh in Galilee and Mount Naphtali, and Shechem in Mount Ephraim, and Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron, in the mountain of Judah. And on the other side Jordan by Jericho eastward, they assigned Betser in the wilderness upon the plain out of the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead out of the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan out of the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities appointed for all the children of Israel, and for the stranger that sojourneth among them, that whosoever killeth any person at unawares might flee thither, and not die by the hand of the avenger of blood, until he stood before the congregation. Luke chapter 19 verses 28 through 48. And when he had thus spoken, he went before, ascending up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass, when he was come nigh to Bethphage and Bethany, at the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples. Saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which at your entering ye shall find a colt tied, whereon yet never man sat, loose him, and bring him hither. And if any man ask you, Why do ye loose him? Thus shall ye say unto him, Because the Lord hath need of him. And they that were sent went their way, and found even as he had said unto them. And as they were loosing the colt, the owners thereof said unto them, Why loose ye the colt? And they said, The Lord hath need of him. And they brought him to Jesus, and they cast their garments upon the colt, and they set Jesus thereon. And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. And when he was come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen. Saying, Blessed be the King that cometh in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven, and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that, if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. And when he was come near, he beheld the city, and wept over it. Saying, If thou hadst known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace. But now they are hid from thine eyes. For the days shall come upon thee, that thine enemies shall cast a trench about thee, and compass thee round, and keep thee in on every side. And shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children within thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. And he went into the temple, and began to cast out them that sold therein, and them that bought, saying unto them, It is written, My house is the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And he taught daily in the temple. But the chief priests and the scribes and the chief of the people sought to destroy him, and could not find what they might do, for all the people were very attentive to hear him. Psalms chapter 88. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit, I am as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Selah. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me 
Thou hast made me an abomination unto them, I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine I mourneth by reason of affliction, Lord, I have called daily upon Thee, I have stretched out my hands unto Thee. Wilt Thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise Thee? Selah! Shall Thy loving kindness be declared in the grave? Or Thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall Thy wonders be known in the dark? And Thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto Thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent Thee. Lord, why castest Thou off my soul? Why hiddest Thou Thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up, while I suffer Thy terrors I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me, Thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water, they compassed me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me, and mine acquaintance into darkness. Proverbs chapter 13 verses 12 through 14. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. The law of the wise is a fountain of life, to depart from the snares of death.